So today I'm going to walk you through a couple uh, applications we have. Um, our, our brackets consist of what we call a NOMOD, which typically uses magnets to attach to the door uh, with no modification needed. And then we have some that require shoulder bolts to be on the door, and we have some that require brackets and any number of different uh, applications. This particular is a, uh, a Westinghouse amp guard. And the way that this kit works is there's two existing bolts that hold this aluminum frame on. Obviously this being aluminum, we can't use magnets on it either. So we provide a cubicle kit. And what that consists of is this plate and an assortment of hardware for different depths. The way that this particular one works is you remove your two existing bolts you use the hardware that's provided in the cubicle kit and go right back into the existing hole. And install your hardware here. Tighten this one up. And again, this comes with kind of an assortment of bolts because sometimes the depths are deeper depending on the vintage cubicle or the manufacturer. So we'll tighten these two up. And at that point, the cubicle kit installation portion of this is done. Uh, your bracket is bolted on and your two shoulder bolts that I referred to earlier are already installed on this bracket. So just by simply bolting this on, we have our mounting points for our drive bracket now. So that is all that has to be modified as far as this cubicle to make the remote racking work. At this point, you would have one of these cubicle kits on each cubicle. And when you went to rack this cubicle, you would just set your drive bracket over the shoulder bolts, lock in your little lock pin here and engage your handle and you're ready to rack. Insert your motor and portable kit and you're ready to go.